This tutorial picks up where we left off in the last tutorial, on setting up your environment to use APIs. Now that you have your environment set up to use APIs, it's time to find some API functions that will help you automate your tasks. First, open the template that you created in the last tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll pretend that you have to create multiples of the same exploration view. We'll pretend that you need to create an exploration view from the budget input total view located in the plan underscore budget plan cube inside of the planning sample server. Of course, you can do this manually by logging in, opening the task pane, navigating through the file tree, finding the particular view, and then creating an exploration view from the view. But this becomes tedious, especially when you need to recreate the same exploration view daily. So let's automate this step. First, log into the data source you'll be creating the exploration views from. Next, click the Developer tab, and then click Visual Basic. Open the Cognos Office Automation Example module, and then double check that the following things exist. First, you want to make sure that m underscore o cafe and m underscore o co automation are defined as objects. And then you want to make sure that there's a property get statement for both Cognos Office Automation object and reporting. If any of these are missing, check the documentation on the Knowledge Center. You'll be able to find the code necessary to fill in any blanks. If you scroll through this module, you'll find that there are already a few examples of API functions that you could use. Next, insert a new module. This is where you'll be putting your own API functions. If you go to the Knowledge Center for Planning Analytics, you'll find a section for the APIs available for IBM Planning Analytics for Microsoft Excel. Expand Exploration API Functions and then open the create topic. Create is an API function that allows you to create exploration views based on a host system URL, server name, cube name, and view name. It's perfect for what we need to do. Within this topic is an example of the create API function. Copy this example and then paste it into the new module. You might have to adjust some of the formatting and replace the example text with your own values. In this example, we'll replace the host system URL to the one that we just logged into. And instead of the goal input view, we'll change it to the budget input total view. And then we'll save it. Next, return to your worksheet and click Macros under the Developer tab. You'll find all of the macros for your API functions in your workbook here. Select Create, and then click Run. And as you can see, a new exploration view is created. So instead of having to navigate through the task pane to find the view that you want to create an exploration view from, you can simply do it through an API function. There are plenty of API functions for planning analytics for Microsoft Excel. Use them to automate many of your tasks when analyzing data or building reports.